I'm Dr. Iva Jenga, physician and endocrinologist uh, here with Ponea to talk about thyroid disorders. And it's important to realize that, and remember we said nine out of 10 cases are women. So a good number of these patients will come either at the time they're trying to get pregnant or when they're pregnant. And that management changes very uh, 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 significantly. One, both diseases can cause infertility or problems in, with conception. So you also now there work with the obstetrician or the person uh, working with this patient. So it's important that all this, but at that stage, that patient should be at a specialist, an endocrinologist or a physician who has uh, the, the right knowledge about the thyroid disorders. What if you have just a goiter, which is just causing obstruction, but no issues with hormone levels? Those are patients, when immediately the thyroid causes obstruction, you involve surgeons as early as possible. Because if you leave it and it's growing big, it will eventually cause problems in other systems. So that one is, there's no other way other than surgery, removing of that huge mass that is obstructing. If a patient is uh, found to have cancer, and I, and I told you a nodule is investigated in several ways, apart from ultrasound, checking hormones, you remove uh, cells from that and see if it is diagnosed to be cancerous, you involve again the surgeon early, and if that nodule or the thyroid gland is removed early, you have total cure for the thyroid cancer. That's why it's also important to diagnose it early, because if you leave it late, of course, like any other cancer, it will spread to other organs. But it's, uh, the surgeons usually work together with oncologists and decide whether these patients need any other form of, and they do, uh, 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 we call them nuclear physicists, and we know whether this patient will also require something called radioiodine ablation so that the cells, even after they do a total thyroidectomy if it's cancer, they even go ahead and give them again radioiodine to, to wipe out any cells of the thyroid because even leaving a few cells after removing a total thyroid, those ones can grow again. It, the thyroid grad, even a, a goiter, if removed and you leave some of it, it can grow and in 10 years you find another goiter even after you had removed the thyroid. So it's very important that you deal with the right specialist for this. And they are there. We have those, uh, all these uh, specialists for this uh, particular disorder. Well, the thing is, the, uh, having, you can have uh, a, a functioning thyroid, it's important, and have no symptoms. In fact, we may actually discover this when we're investigating you for other things. So you can be there and, of course, think the tiredness is because I have been overworking, I'm stressed at work, that's why I'm feeling so bad. Of course, it can even come you feel, uh, uh, through uh, psychiatrists because you are depressed. You might be found it was the thyroid causing this, this problem uh, because you are diagnosed with something else. So it, it's important for people to know that the thyroid can be discovered even when you presented uh, with other illnesses. I said infertility, you might find it's actually thyroid. Uh, uh, serious depression, psychosis, you might present with a psychosis only to discover it was thyroid. So it's very important that person is investigated properly. And uh, once you discover and you treat, all these other things uh, uh, disappear. Uh, I would like first to thank all of you, the, uh, the Ponea team, and also thank anybody who is listening to this, wherever you are, uh, whether you are patient or not, uh, to take this information, make yourself empowered to learn about the, this condition. Should you think that you have something in regard to this. It's important to, you can go on Ponea platforms. There's a, uh, an app for patients. You can get the information where you can get more uh, guided uh, as to where to book to health professionals that deal with this. We have many the specialist uh, endocrinologists, both for adults and for children as well. And we also have physicians who really also will be able to guide you, in, investigate you, and uh, treat you or refer you to the correct uh, uh, specialists.